again, it's not my live. This is recorded. It's a live or is it Memorex? Okay. So what happens all the time, and I'll try to make this quicker than the other one, is everyone starts off, I'm taking the test tomorrow, next week, whatever. So I'm going to give you a breakdown of what you need to do if you're taking it over the next few days. If you're taking it tomorrow, leave, get some sleep, relaxing, just relax. Don't take a lot of, don't take any more tests, get some sleep, wake up tomorrow morning, take it like a bad bitch, like a savage, right? Okay. If you're taking it the two days from now or more, no test the day before. Okay. Don't take any tests the day before. And then just add, to spend the day before learning, adding knowledge, watching my videos, my crash course videos, whatever you want to call it. Just watch those videos. That's the way you want to do it. Take it easy. And then around dinner time, you're done. Go out, have dinner, whatever you want to do. Go see a movie, go kayaking, skydiving, whatever gets you relaxed. Secondly, if you're taking it beyond that, say you're taking it three, four, five days away, take finals every morning, try to time it to when you're taking the actual exam, same biorhythms, all that crap. And then review every part of it. Anything under a 70, reread or watch a video to cover it. That's leading up to the test. That's what you do. So you should be, by the time you're, what, three, five, ten days away, you should be done with the book, done with the chapter quizzes, and taking finals every morning or every afternoon, whenever the test is, whenever you can. Yes, if you're working, it's a pain in the ass, whatever it is. Now, onward and upward. That's what you do if you're taking the exam, okay? If you're taking the seven, make sure you read customer accounts the day before. Um, that's a big thing. And then watch my quick and dirties for most of these exams. They will help. Now, if you're looking, if you're not taking it anytime soon and you're looking for some help, here we go. We have a lot of help for you. We have a Facebook group, two of them really supportive. I'm literally a dick and they're the nicest people ever. So you have FINRA exam prep with help from Capital Advantage shooting. That's the group I run. Then we also have the Series 65, 66 exam prep, which is great. There's about 2,000 people in there, almost 5,000 in mine, super supportive private so what you say stays in the group super supportive even in the group they have a bunch of chats they have a chat for each test so you don't even have to deal with the stuff that you don't care about you just stick with that and they share stuff and they start study groups on that note study groups are magic i i host i host a link you can get free i have a free link on my website series7exam.org where you can go on there and then all you have to do is when you set up the study group everyone go to my link at the time boom it's there it's free it's easy stuff if you're going to do a study group, make sure you're involved, okay? Don't just sit back because just sitting back and being passive, you don't learn. Active learning. Be willing to make mistakes. Argue the point. If you believe something's wrong, say and go, I don't disagree. Bring your questions to the study group. I don't run them. These are all just doing it on your own. Study groups are absolutely magic. Okay. I think that covers most of the stuff. Ah, except for, don't forget, I have other places to go. So you have Michael Weiss. Is at series 7 exam tutor.com great tutor about half the cost of me i'm a tutor i do it all day long series 7 exam.org if you want to check out other youtube channels go check out brandon rith over at basic wisdom Susie rhodes over at past master brian lee i think his test geek exam prep and then achievable has some stuff they have some good stuff out there notman marks also has some they're putting out videos they're putting out more and a lot of them are like vibes video make you feel good I also have other channels you can see my more shorty stuff and more fun. I, on TikTok, I'm Series 7 Whisperer. On Instagram, I'm Series 7 Whisperer. Go check them out. And then here, I'm Series 7 Whisperer. I change the name. And people think I'm not a whisperer. I'm a yeller. Maybe I should change my name to the Series 7 Yeller. But what happens is my direct approach and, and actually no bullshit crap and no extra actually calms people down so i know what works remember as one of the people said we are fucking animals okay we are animals trying to take this as voracious voraciously eating up this stuff look enough of this bullshit you don't want to hear this you want to get onto the live and see that idiot over there so let's go oh hey welcome to the live oh, sorry i fell asleep i didn't realize it boom okay let's get on it I got my grizzly out. I'm getting ready for no shave November, right? No, I'm going to shave before that. Okay. I have enough shit going against me. I don't need to have a big ass gray beard on it. Big ZZ top beard. What do they go with? Duck Dynasty shit going on? Okay. Okay. So let's get into it. Okay. Shh. Joe, shh. Don't tell anyone. Shh. Okay. Guys, welcome on. And uh, let's get into the show, baby. If you need help with the Series 6, remember, this is for all exams. The SIE, the Series 6, the Series 7, um, the Series 24, the 910, 20, the 57, 79. 
I may be one of the few tutors that has all these licenses. <laughs> Do I try not to die? Thank God for mute. Okay. Getting better at that. When I first started doing that, I'd mute it, and then I'd cough, and then I'd forget to unmute it. I'd be talking for like 10 minutes without people like, you're talking. You're I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's get into this. Sean, how are you, my man? How are you? I love it. One of my favorite students. Another <coughs> another one of my favorite students. He is an animal. He put everything into it. He was seeing me. He worked with Michael Weiss. We got him through the test, and he's he's killing it over at his new firm. He was killing it before, and then he took he actually moved from one firm to another when they pulled out of the state, and he never let it slow him down, which is awesome. He was like the happiest person I ever met. Other than me, of course, right? Okay, got it. Okay. IB, hope you're going to join the group. I know you got it. You're going to rock this thing. You're, what, when do you come off the um, the whole training part? January? is He's getting close, right? I know it's only October, but God, it's so close to winter. That's why I hate August because August is basically September, which is, which is my birthday month, but it's winter. IB, hope you join the group. I can't wait to see you on Friday nights. Okay. Oh, crap. Hold on. Coach B. <clears throat> that is awesome. That is fucking awesome. You don't owe me shit. You did the work, okay? I agree. I think I help a little bit. And but, uh, by the way, I do think my options are game changing. I don't think anyone does options is the way I do them. I hope not. Okay. I fucking love it. I am so happy for you, Coach B. We're down to one left, right? And then we got Spartan Solutions. We are Sparta. Okay. Boom. Nail that fucking thing. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Let's, Alicia, let's not do a part-time. Let's go hard at it. Get done with the grad school. I know it, maybe do it around the grad school when you're not. Okay. Um, I'm so happy for your Sparta. Hey, guys, Coach B, your Sparta. Any surprises on this? 66. Take a day off, man. Take a couple days off. Today's Tuesday. You passed it today. Coach B, take like today and tomorrow off to just to revel, get drunk, have a good time, hit on women and guys. And um, then on, maybe on Thursday, start reading the book. Make sure you start reading the book. Okay. Again, I love it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, first read the book. Okay. Um, I was saying not to read those sections. Those are the sections I said not to read. Honey, those are the sections I, honey, 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 honey. Those are the uh, videos I told you not to read. Okay? Okay. Um, does anyone have the cap and audio book? I don't, I don't know how, Mike, I don't know how they send it to you. I, I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's not as boring as their fucking videos and teachers. Okay? So I think the audio book is not bad. Um, I have an audio book, but it's really just my videos. But I do think going on to, um, Alicia, I bet. So again, you might get a wordy essay, but I'm not so sure. Let me get back into this. So just maybe, I don't know how much it is. I don't know if they charge a lot, but there's another one out there. Um, Franz, I think it's called Pass the Series 7. Go check him out. Okay. Oh. An iron condor. Just so you know, iron condor is all about, it's usually probably a fake question, but... um. I think, oh, that sucks. Now, are you in a position that you could date the six just to start selling mutual funds and annuities or something like that while you're waiting? I know it fucking sucks. But here's the thing. So if you have six months of iron condor, pretty much if you buy an iron condor, you want stability. And if you sell it, you want volatility. But probably one of the test questions. Um, yeah, I think they're the same thing. A butterfly? Yeah, they're neutral. Boom. Okay. Well, no, no, no. You don't know. Joe, you don't know if it's fake or not because you don't know if it's your score. I don't mean it that way. When the, with the fake questions are the 10 that don't count. You don't know. Got it. Okay, listen, I know you're pissed. I understand that. So here's the thing. So if you, this is studying for six months will blow your head off, right? So what I need you to do is not maybe take two months off. Maybe take three months off. Don't do a thing. You need to kind of prep, but get back. Um, get back. Uh, what are you going to say? Get back onto track. Just take a couple months because look, studying for the next six months is gonna is gonna kill you. 
So take two or three months off. Don't worry about it. Don't even think about it. Like if they're going to make you do it, that's one thing. But if you don't have to, and again, I know it sucks. I absolutely know it sucks, but I would absolutely try um, to get, what's the best way to do it? Facebook user, who is this? You got to tell me what it is. I don't know what it is. I want to congratulate you, but I don't know what it is. Um, take a couple days off and then if you, then, re, then rethink about it. Maybe you can get, if you have to take the 66, okay? If you have to take a 66, okay? Maybe take that while you're waiting. But I'm telling you, just take time. I know. You've passed it. You failed it four times. I know that. It sucks. I had a, not a student of mine, but I was at a, when I worked on the floor, there was a girl, Renee, who failed it. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, that's right, John. I don't know what you're called, John or Leonardo, Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio, okay? Leonardo DiPerfinan, okay? So now, um, I am so happy for you, Leonardo, but Joe, let's get on this. So let's, let's. it sucks, and it's going to be a long six months, but please, just take a few months off. Let yourself enjoy this. Maybe don't start again until January. Maybe the middle of January, start setting again. Just go through the holidays, do what you can. I know it fucking sucks. It absolutely does. But give that a shot. See if you can reset your brain a little bit. And then what you do, the first thing you do is read the book two times. You have so much time. Read the book twice and then start doing questions. Maybe get achievable. Explain it. And again, don't use my fucking link. You go on their own. Just go to them. They're awesome. I like I like you to use my link. But again, I like them so much, I don't even care. Vanessa. And Joe, don't, again, I understand how depressing it is. I do. I know people that had jobs. That, like I said, there's one girl on the floor. I think she failed it like 11 times. Not saying this can be you, but she was, she just, and then she never gave up and she finally passed it. Hold on. Christian. Boom, boom, boom. That's awesome, Natarino. This, any surprises on there? I love it. Everyone gives, everyone has to. Let's, Christian's good. John nailed it. We got, um. who's the other one? Where's the other one who passed it? Coach B and Spartan, let's say congratulations. Okay. That's what I was thinking, honey. He can take the 66 while he's waiting. But you can take the, you can take him in any order you want. That's what I was thinking. But still, take some time off. Take a couple months off. You can. Um, you can absolutely take. Um, yeah, which question was on my, in the exam? Just so I know. Hold on. Let me get back to this. But, Joe, yeah, you can take the 66 if you're waiting. But still. I know. Listen, I understand that. That's the thing that it's it's not. You understand that it's not an intelligence test at all. It's a test taking. Okay, maybe you're using a different study thing. But I seriously, I want you to just take some time off. Just work. Don't do this. As long as you're not going to get fired for it, don't, take some time off. Really, you got to do it. Live your life for a little bit because I mean, it's it's going to be tough on you. Okay. For the SIE, Becky, the most important two things are everything, but. I'm out of order here, kid. Um, investment risk and what the register up can and can't do. Yeah, get cap on or achievable. Okay. There you go, honey. Read honey's comments, Joe. I know it's not going to make it feel better now, but you got to think about it. Matt K, good evening. Again, Coach B, boom, nailed it. And Spartan, baby. Okay. And another thing, Joe, maybe when you're done, when you start setting it up, Maybe, you know, reach out to Michael Weiss for some tutoring or something like that just to get somebody to get help. I mean, there's a lot of you can even go to Wiseant, Wiseant, W-Y-Z-A-N-T. They're a tutor aggregation service. They have a lot of stuff. OK. And Leonardo, John, I'm so happy for you. Again, with the, the tips for the 66, read the, it's the same for every exam. Read the damn book first. That's all you have to do. That's the only thing I tell people. They get tips for the next exam. Read the book first. Yeah, I know that. SM, I know, I know, I know. Uh, but I'm, I'm sick. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I need help for, I need, I need, I got two tutors working for me now. I'm giving them as much as I can. I'm trying to throw stuff their way and I'm, and I'm trying to make it so I have time for myself. So I can do it. I am sorry, SM. I know I'm working on it. It's just, I get done at 10 o'clock at night and I'm just like, oh, I don't want to finish it. I prom, I, I'm going to say I promise, but. I've been saying that for a little bit now. Okay. Boom. Okay. Yes, don't read them. Just do it. Just do the questions on on those chapters. Okay. Yeah, I do think I think I think training consultants I think they're okay. I think they're a little light.
But yeah, the questions sometimes are a little wordier than the real exam. Okay. Yeah, I know. Um, I think I'm taking one next year. I t to be fair, I took one. I have it set up that when I take it next year, I can still earn while I'm gone. Because right now what happens is if I take a vacation, right? I spend 10 grand on vacation, which is a lot of fucking money, but I have a big fucking family. So I, I spend 10 and then I lose 10 from tutoring, right? So it's just like my vacation gets doubled. Okay. Okay, now. Okay. I'll feel better, honey. Um, boom, adios, honey. Go enjoy your day. I will... Um. Here's the thing. This is what I say is the perfect. If you want to learn this shit, get achievable. And then buy the Kaplan QBank. Kaplan's good, but they're fucking deep, right? And I'd say if you want to do this easy, do achievable, then do my option stuff. Do My membership for the options is 20 bucks a month. Or if you do the 50, you get the classes, the seven class and the option class, plus the videos, okay? I think it's worth, I mean, it works out to be like, if you do it for a full month, that's like $8 a lesson, which is pretty, pretty much a bargain, okay? Okay, again, the most important things are invest for the SIE are investment risks and what the register rep can and can't do. Okay. Sure, I can do that, Tommy. Okay, thanks, Joe, man. I appreciate it. Joe Mama. Joe Mama, baby. You got you got the set. So that's awesome. Joe Mama, you're ready. But why are you on here now? Get the fuck off. Go get some sleep. I love the name, Joe Mama. Okay. I'm going to say that. What about the SA for dummies? Can you use it as a supplement? Sure. As a main? No fucking way. No fucking way. Um, boom. KG3. We're going to nail this. Okay. It's funny. My entire marriage is basically us sending... Instagram text, Instagrams to each other. Okay. Um, yes. Get Kaplan. Get Kaplan. I think that's fair. If, you, if you're looking for questions, right? If you're looking for questions, get Kaplan. You can just buy the QBank. I mean, I think Pass Reverend does a QBank too, but they're a little deep. Achievable doesn't. They're cheap enough. It's 200 bucks, but it's, it's a lot to pay just for questions. Their program is awesome. Um STC, you can buy the supplemental exams. And remember, here's the thing. Kaplan's good because it challenges you. But I do think STC is a little closer to the style of the exam. The problem is every vendor has two or three questions that were, uh, that you match the exam. So what happens is, boom, I love you too, Joe Mama. Okay. Um, right. I get it, Vanessa. I agree. I think, I think the SA for Dummies is good for overall context. But as a supplement to explain shit that's there. I mean, my, literally, my videos are for dummies. I mean, it's uh, SIE for dumbasses, right? That's the name. Of, that should be the name of my website. Okay. So again, get the Kaplan or buy the um, buy the STC supplemental. Hold on, we got to jump down. Sumter Fort Sumter, baby. Sumter Miller. Now that's a hell of a name. I'm telling you, it must have been fun when you're doing history in history class. It's like, hey, you support Sumter. Okay. Yeah. Congrats. I love it. I'm glad the options videos help. I do. I think the options videos are pretty good. I think they work. I think they're different. They're more for, um, where's my shit? I'm going back to this. Alicia, you're rocking it. There we go. Back to my chats. Okay. Okay. Let me pack up to this. And I will do it through exempt transaction, exempt securities. Okay. Tommy, we got this. Okay. I agree. I don't think he's given up. I think he's just fucking pissed off. So, like, honey, I think she's gone. But I don't. I don't get the feeling that Joe's that Joe's gonna give up. I think he's just fucking pissed off because it's just like such a stupid fucking gate he has to get through. Look, I'm happy. I make a lot of money teaching this shit, but I get it. I am really pushing, and it'll never work. But I'm really pushing Finra to um. What's on chapter eleven? Well. I'm really, really pushing um, FINRA to start allowing anyone to take the seven because this is my, this is our line and this is what we went with because I pushed on this. You can't take the test unless you're sponsored. 
So if you don't have connections, the only place you can, and or you don't have unbelievable fucking grades or and or connections, you're going to work at a not a, at as great a firm where maybe you're not getting the advantages that other people do. So in reality, by making it a sponsor only test, it's um, it's hurting mar- people of color or people who don't or people who don't have a lot of money or connections. Yeah, I'm a white I'm a white male guy. It's easier for me, right? Okay. Okay. That's right. I said white male guy. Isn't that kind of redundant? Okay. Yeah, but KG, those two suitability videos that I have on my Series 7 are literally the same thing. They're going to help you, I promise you. Yeah, the problem is it's not that deep, right? If you learn the suitability for regular suitability, you can carry that over to the mutual funds. Absolutely. So a lot of that stuff in my Series 7 crash course will help you on the 6.6. Okay. So look. Okay. So I have a video on this. You're going to watch that. The Can I Sell a Security video, okay? Now, um, so Joe, I wonder if it was the ADR question or the rights question. I don't know. So now, exe- so if you want to sell a security in a state, it has to be registered. Either qualified, one state only. This is for the 63, 65, 66. So anything in the SA or 7, get a cup of coffee, whatever. Go watch. There's no football on tonight. Um, like Tuesday, Wednesday is only night without football. Maybe college is on. Um, so if you want to sell security in a state, it has to be registered, which if it's one state only qualification, multiple states coordination or federal only federal covered, which is notice filing in the state means you don't have to register in the state. Now, if you don't do that, say you don't want to do that. Let's say your security is exempt. The actual, remember something, the security is exempt. Okay. Oh God, please don't worry about that one. Okay. Don't worry about just read the reach. Just do questions on limited partnerships and um, watch. Just read the reads and do limited partnerships. DPPs are barely tested on the exam, but the vendors fucking love them. The vendors love, love to do limited partnerships. Okay, I should try that one time. Come on here, start while I'm drinking bourbon or something like that, and then see how and just like constantly drink it and see how the fucking thing falls apart by nine thirty. Okay, I'm gonna be like this. Yeah, whatever. Okay, okay. They can just watch me die on camera. So exempt securities are securities that never have to register. Okay. So again, exempt securities are securities that never have to register. Meaning like treasuries, munis, banks. This is all on the state level. Banks, um, mutual funds, stock exchange, commercial paper, 270 or less. There's a couple, but those are okay. Honey, give me a second. I'm almost out up to it. Okay, now. I'll show you. Honey, you can watch my playlist. I match it up. Okay, so now. um, Those are exempt securities. They never have to register, but you have to register to sell them. Remember that. You, oh, the ADR one, right? The 54,000, right? I got it. Okay. Yeah, everyone seems to see that one. That's that's common. Even SEC has a copy of that on their, on their thing, because everyone's seen it. Right, the, it's the ten percent. It's worth five forty. It's uh, uh, whatever. It's worth five forty. It's ten percent. So it's going to be fit twenty seven thousand, and then it's a twelve fifty dividend. That's ten percent of that dividend, which is dollar twenty five. Right, Joe? That's right. Hope you got it right. Hope you picked the um twenty seven thousand and the three twelve because it was semi annual dividend, not full. And if anyone wants to find it, go on my math video. Go watch my math ninety minute math video, and it's on boom. Oh, that's awesome, Joe. So there we go. We're getting closer. I know it sucks. We're going to get there. Okay. Um. Yeah, I see my memory sometimes. With, um, with, like, I don't say this for my family, but I have a good memory on shit I care about. Okay. Now, if you ask my, you know, my, my wife knows, like, every friend my daughter's ever had. I mean, literally, from, like, second grade on to, oh, yeah, you remember Margaret? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me? Who? Dad, you had dinner with her. Her and her family. I don't remember. I do not remember. As they say, moms know every little bit, and dads a lot of times just know there's a lot of people, little people running around for 10 years. Okay. So now, exempt securities are securities that will never have to register. That's the actual securities are exempt, or the issuers are exempt, right? Well, I guess it's the securities are exempt. Federal go- Any federal government, state governments, um, commercial paper, banks, utilities, common carriers, mutual funds, stock exchange, um, Reg D five hundred six C stuff like that. Any charitable, religious, nonprofit, though, and I have a video on it. That's why I'm railing through this. Those are all exempt, which means they never, ever, ever have to register. 
but you do. You don't get to sell them as an exempt. You don't, you're not exempt. Just because you're an agent and you're selling exempt securities doesn't mean shit to you. The second one is exempt transactions. These are securities that are non-exempt. So let's say it's took my capital advantage tutoring, cats. I sold it in New York only. Boom. Okay. So, um on the state level, Danny. Yeah. Uh Danny, on the state level, yes. Okay. So now. On the state level, not on the SEC level. Now, if I have if my security is held in New York only under qualification, I can't sell it in another state unless. Unless I sell it through an exempt transaction because I'm a non-exempt security, I have to register. Not exempt transaction is like if a customer called up and wanted to buy my shares, not from me, but for another person, unsolicited is exempt. If we sold it to just institutions, it's exempt. If we had an isolated non-issuer transaction, which means two people buying it from each other, not as a pattern, uh, like a secondary market trade, um, a private placement, which is selling to as many institutions as you want, but up to 10 retail. All this is covered in that video. A um, if I sell to my own employees, if I sell to the underwriter, if an administrator, okay. Yeah, they sometimes they don't. I mean, I, they should have most of them or they don't even test it. But usually they won't give you a question, Joe, with both both answers on. If they do, that really sucks. Um, if someone dies or is a bankruptcy, an executor, a sheriff, an administrator, or a trustee will have to sell shares to settle the account. They're not going to make them do it. A pledge from an account, right? So if I put my shares up as collateral for a loan and then I fucking default, I flip out, I ghost, I flake. Um, that person I pledge it to is allowed to sell the shares without making me register my shares. Um, and then a... Pre-organization certificate. So I have to see it in my head. A pre-organization certificate. There's a lot of shit I run down. Um, like a file cabinet trying to find it. A pre-organization certificate is a certificate that's for like when you go when you go in public or you're bringing it out and you just list the people going to get shares. No money can change hands. Though, I hope that helps a little bit, Tommy Parent. Go watch my video. The bottom line is if you want to sell security, it's got to be one of those three. Either exempt, an exempt transaction, or register this shit. Okay. Boom. KG, we're going to nail this. Make sure you watch my crash course. Guys, I started creating a like, playlist for the videos, right? So I have an SIE crash course. I have a seven crash course. Those are like the videos you watch leading up to the test. Not the day of, the day before, whatever it is. It's going to help you. All little things. Like the seven crash course has like nine videos on it. All awesome. The SAE has like five or six. Again, all awesome. But I'm based. Ha ah, I didn't say bias. They said I'm based, which means I'm telling the truth. Okay. I agree. I think the dummies is too too cheap. Again, Sumter, snaps for you, baby. Snaps for you. I agree. I think the videos, the option videos are pretty fucking awesome. Okay. Got it. Yes. Okay. Um, ooh. Let me get to that. Alicia, I don't do T charts at all. Uh, unless you mean the triangle or the seesaw, I don't do T charts. Right? Okay. Um, I mean, really, I guess you could. I mean, it's really just a buy and a sell, right? It's just buy to 50, sell to 60, make 10 bucks. I don't use T charts at all. There's none you'll never I don't think I do them for anything. Again, will the alternate the, so if you're looking at STC or whatever, um don't read the DPP section, just read the REITs. It's like two pages. And you look, what do you have to do about REITs? They trade on exchange, they're pooled investments of real estate. They have to pass through 90% of their income. Um, you can buy them on margin, you can sell them short. It's kind of the thing. Okay. Here's the thing on this. So if you want, you can watch theirs and waste hours and hours and hours. Ago. Back to you, honey. Honey. Okay. Guzman. My video, my SIE exam playlist, I don't read from the chapter. I'm just, I use it as a timeline. If you do that, I should have the first 
probably 13 or 14 chapters in order. Like I basically match them. So if you watch my videos before you read the chapter, I cut out the bullshit. They take an hour. I take 20 minutes. That's what I do. The, I mean, everyone who does this shit, they take an hour to do a 20 minute co conversation. Okay. Owner dying, right? Passing or a uh, dying or or sending it over. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Juan, I, you definitely do that. Okay. Well, good. Then that's it. Then you're fine. If you want to listen to theirs, they're fine. They're just long. That's fine. They're really long. Yeah, I, I try not to study the day before. Boom, that's smart. If I could, Josh, if I could do any chapters, I would reread the early ones, like one through eight. I know that's a lot, but I would read one through eight if I could. Because that's all the regs. That's where people get screwed up. They're really where people get screwed up. RMD is 73 now, exactly. RMD is actually uh, 73. Oh, yeah, dead. So here's the thing. So let's go over this real quick. So if I have an IRA, honey, we got this. You got so, so much time. Um, if I die and my wife gets my IRA, since she's a spouse, she can do a rollover, do whatever the hell she wants. And it's named a rollover, okay? So if you do, I agree, Tommy's right on that. Don't study the day before. I mean, add knowledge the day before, but that's about it. You stop, like stop around dinner time the night before. It may be even earlier. But no test the day before. Now, back to you. And this is for everyone. I did a video on this because I saw it popping up, and everyone's getting two or three questions on it. If your spouse dies and leaves you an IRA, you can do whatever you want. You can roll it into your own IRA. Literally make it your own IRA and take the money out when you want. The only caveat to that is that if they're already subject to RMD, like they are supposed to take money out that year, you have to withdraw that month, that that month's uh, that year's RMD, and then you can do whatever you want. Now, let's say you're not a spouse, so you leave it to your daughter or your son or whatever it is, non-wife, non-spouse, actually widow, because your dad is not really a spouse anymore. Um, a little bit less, yeah, a little bit, but not crazy. Know that all everything about a mutual fund is taxable, but and I, my series seven tax videos will help on that. Back to you on this. So now, if I'm non-spouse, it's called an inherited IRA. I cannot roll it into my own. So it's called an inherited IRA, and I have to take the money out over a 10-year period. So again, spouse, roll it into their account no matter what they do. Non-spouse, inherited, and have to take it out over a 10-year period. Right, so spouse, did, so then she can take it all into her own account. Oh, unless it was, oh, yes, yeah, so Joe, you have to, she has to take out his RMD for that year, and then she can do whatever she wants, right? So if the husband is supposed to take out RMD and they hadn't yet, and they were supposed to, you have to withdraw that that year's RMD, and then you can do whatever you want. Now, what's interesting is the question I got, or I may have gotten, I'm not sharing questions, um, the person is 55, still working and was retiring 10 years, so you would not do a Roth thing, because remember, if you do a Roth, Gonna pay taxes on it, and that becomes on top of her. So, if that person is making 150 grand a year, you have a 250 thousand um, dollar IRA that you inherit. You do a Roth, your, your income is 400 for that year, which means your top tax bracket. Better to put it into a regular special at that age. If they're 20 or 30, Roth may work out, but once you're over like 45, 50, just put it in the regular, don't pay taxes on it. And then when she retires, finally, she'll be at a lower income. And both of that, okay, and then she'll be boom, okay. Yeah, unlimited. Two cells is always unlimited, kid. That's a covered put. Two cells is always... I'll put it up here, but... Again, mutual funds are exempt on the state level, correct? I think the tenure thing is part of the SECURE Act. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, if you want to email me, um, go on my website, series, down here, series70zm.org. My contact info is in there. Do that, and then we can have a chat to, for you can set up for the next point. Okay. Right. Yeah, you can do that. You can move the funds into your, and she can roll it into her own IRA. And that's the thing. One of the questions was, um, one of my questions was, how is it tight? Not my question. Somebody else got it. I've seen what happens when I talk too long. Um, was, 
how is it titled? And if it's a non-spouse, it's inherited. If it's a spouse, it's a, it's a uh, rollover, okay. Boom, okay. Um, boom, you're gonna nail this, Tom. You just go in there confident. Make sure, this the 63 is the one that I'm okay with you um, taking a lot of tests as much as you can, okay. Boom, exactly. The only time you change answers is if they punch you in the face wrong. Okay. Yeah, so that makes sense, right? So I'll get me hold on. Vanessa, I agree. There's another Vanessa, Vanessa on, on their class too. The, remember, so I'm changing the name to um what we say we're gonna change it to. Happy hour. So my my 8 p.m. options class always goes to like 9:30. And everyone's drinking wine while I'm while we're doing it. It's a lot of fun, I think. So that's the eight o'clock class. The problem is it costs fifty bucks a month, which is nothing for a month. Okay, so it's, I'm giving this shit away. I'm giving this shit away, crazy Kenny. Um, if you're old, you would recognize that. I used to go there all the time. I used to buy some great shit because you can negotiate with. It. You tell me it's your birthday, you got ten percent off. You tell me you were poor, they got another ten percent off. They were great. They just wanted the sales. Okay. Um, I agree, Vanessa. You're gonna join in, and if you do the fifty bucks a month, you get our you get our class every Friday night too. So KG, if you're studying all day, then no, stop at dinner time. But if you're studying around work, just try to get two hours in the morning. Okay. Get um try if KG if you're on here, if you're studying if you can't study during the day, just do two hours in the morning, and that's about that's about okay. I agree. Stock market math. Exactly. Okay. Hold on. First of all, congratulations. That is awesome. I love it. Focus on the six. Make sure you read the whole book. Then I'll tell you. No. So first read the whole book, cover to cover. Then work on mutual funds, annuities, obviously, taxes and communications. And some suitability. It's not hard suitability. Okay. So KG, if you're studying all day, stop at dinner time. If you stop... If you can only study before and after work, study in the morning and maybe do a quick quiz before you leave and then you're done. Okay. Okay, Vanessa. Put the gun down. Seven is on a math test. Past perfect is all fucking math. Even half the options questions are theory. Okay. Oh, but no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, but you don't want to burn out. KG, if you're going to study all day, just study till five or six and then go home. Let your brain relax. It's like working out. Like you can tell, right? I do. Um, just you got to give it time to relax. You got to do it. Take some creatine or something. Okay. Hold on. Boom. Got to go back up. Okay. We got that one. No, if you're studying all day, just study during the day. Maybe if you want to do the morning before work, that's fine, but then stop. Okay. Now, <laughs> Vanessa, I swear to God, past perfect is a bunch of shits. Hold on. Okay. Erica Stamolo. <coughs> Hold on while I die. Okay. No, if you're studying all day, stop doing it. Just let yourself. It's fine. But you're going to burn out. Just study during the day. If you're studying all day, stop at five. Go home. It's your job. Um, for the SIE, focus for the next three days, focus on the investment risks and what the register rep can and can't do. Okay. I agree. That's all. That's it. Learn. Okay. That's it. Okay. So, Erica, understand. Focus on the investment risk. You got to take more tests. Um, oh, you've been taking a lot of exams. Oh, um, focus on investment risks and what the register up can and can't do. That's a prohibition and shit like this. Okay. You, yes, Matt, you are. I believe you are. We're going to manifest success to you. Visualize you passing. Because if you go in there confident like a fucking savage, right? A, a bad bitch. You know, maybe a guy. I don't know. Maybe Matt's a girl. Maybe Matt Arena. Um, Go in there like a bad bitch and just take it and have confidence. Because here's the deal. 
Everyone take it in the night before Thursday. If you have confidence, I say this all the time. If you go in there with confidence, the hard question just challenges. If you go in there without confidence, then the hard questions are reason you shouldn't take it. So you got to go in there like a bad bitch. I am like ridiculously, stupidly confident, overconfident about everything, which is moronic, okay? But it does work. It kind of works out for me, okay? So we handle that. Chastity win. Okay. Um. Yeah, what do you mean you're not getting past it? Just move the fuck on. Okay. Good. I like it, Matt. That's it. Be fucking cocky. But not so cocky you don't read every word, right? Go in there. I know you're going to nail it. I feel good vibes. Um. If you don't get past unit two, like, by tomorrow, I'm not going to take it then, right? So why don't you just focus on reading? Okay. Right. Bad bitch. Go in there as a bad bitch. Okay. Oh, Matt, you're fine. As long as you didn't memorize, you're fine. So back to this. Chastity. You need to just read. Stop taking notes. Stop doing quizzes. Just read. Get through the damn book. Okay. Just get 100%. It's good for 5 to 10 points legitimately. You need to get through the book. Don't stop and struggle. I mean, if you sit there on two and not move on till you pass it, you're never going to get through it. Just move on. It'll come. I promise. Just keep moving, 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 moving. I promise you it'll help. Okay, I don't know who you're using, Juan, but I'm going to tell you right now. Let's go with, um, Ben, who do you have? Juan, tell me who you have first, and then we'll talk, because I don't want to tell you the same vendor you had. That's fine. You listen to him. That's awesome. Listen to him again. No, watch this STC stuff. They'll help. Watch them before you take the chapters. So just move on, Chastity. So I should, when you come back on Thursday, you should be saying, oh, yeah, I'm up at unit four, five, six. That, that's what I want to hear, Chastity. So I'm expecting you. If I don't hear you come out here Thursday night and tell me you made some real progress, we're going to have a problem. Okay. Um, I agree, Tommy. But 20, 12 to 24 hours at four, you're done, baby. Done, done, done. Okay. Again, I think I handled that one. Okay. So, Vanessa, I was just saying that to screw with you. But understand, you could literally, I'm telling you, other than options, okay? I'm telling you, Danny, it makes a difference. It does. If you have, like, your music shit going on. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Um... If you have not a math test, one second, I'm trying to do something here. Okay. This is how you stand there, and I'm going to get demonetized for this. This is fine. You stand there, and this is what you listen to as you're standing there. The original Superman. That's power. The original Superman. That's what you have behind you. I just get demonetized, and you know I did. Okay. Now, I'm telling you, it makes a difference with the mu music. How about this one? How about that one? I don't get demonetized. I'm probably going to copy it straight for this. That's what you want to have behind you. Take that like a bad fucking bitch. There we go. I know I'm going to, tomorrow it'll be gone. Okay, so now, so you're all going to hear this and it's going to disappear tomorrow. Okay. That's who you got to go in there like a bad bitch tomorrow. That's what you're going to do. Okay, now. I'm like a child with fucking phone shit. Okay, now. If you're taking even the options, half of them will be theory. Like if you're long stock, you buy a put or sell a call. 
If you're short stock, you buy a call or sell a put. That's literally what it is. Okay. Okay, well, this is what she was asking. Look, a customer sells short 100 shares of ABC. True, you could do that one. I, I, I keep doing that. I'm going to get a strike. I've got three strikes on one video, right? That's right. If I get one strike, I just sit there and not be a bad person for 90 days, and I'm fine. A customer sells 100 shares of ABC at 40, writes an ABC 40, put at three. Since this is a covered put, everyone. Since this is a covered put, since it's a covered put, they, since you sell two things, okay, then you have... Um, Then you have a, you sold stock and sold the put. That sounds so horrible. Doesn't it? Okay. That sounds like the wrong one. Maybe it's that one. Maybe it's this one. There it is. Is that what you're talking about, Danny? There we go. I'm going to just shut down my channel. Okay. So the whole point here is if you sell stock, and short a put, two sales means you're unlimited. Boom, okay. Okay. Irina, I appreciate it. I'm telling you, it's so easy. You, Irina, you can, right? It's amazing. Once you figure out my method, you don't have to hear about numbers and t-charts. You just kind of picture it, and it works. I don't want, and Irina, you're going to do everything on paper, but you, but you can do it in your head. Okay. Zeke, Tommy, 100%. I'm not a fan of studying in the morning. It's just, it's hang out. Okay. Oh, you took STC. Okay. Um, I think she'll help you, but I don't think it's a full course. It'll help. If you have STC, go either. You know what you do? Juan, go get Achievable. I swear to God, don't even use my link. It's like 99 bucks for the, oh, wait, for the seven, right? Uh, I don't remember what it is, but go get Achievable. It'll help. I promise you. If you're not, go get Kappa. No help, too. And maybe you just need questions. Achievable will teach you better. Kappa, um, yes. Every time you see two sales, it's always unlimited loss. And every time you see two buys, it's always unlimited gain. Little things, right? Little things that help, okay? Because uh, remember, some, and I have that options cheat sheet that tells you gain, loss, shit like that. Um, I know, Irina, that's right. Not why it works for you, right? A lot of people like the math better. But also, where are you from? Okay. It's like you're born with a math head. Okay. Okay. No folding. There won't be a lot of muni bond math. Some maybe accretion and amortization, but not a lot. Um, I listen, Juan, if you have STC ready, maybe you get Kaplan. Maybe if you want to pass rush is as good as in I does she sell product? Does she sell? I don't even know if she sells books. Maybe she does, but um her videos are good. Okay. She, she has that big ass whiteboard. It's kind of cool. She has a big ass screen that she uses. I love. Um but I would say she's fine. I would say if you're looking for another vendor, either get Achievable or Kaplan. Achievable is cheaper, and Achievable teaches this shit better. And especially since you have STC questions already, if you do Achievable, you're going to go back and forth. It'll help a lot. Okay. Okay. Drunk hour. So options, happy hour is Friday nights at 8 p.m. If the membership. It's the $50 a month membership, which is not much. Um, it's a fifty dollars a month membership, and it's a um, it's from eight to nine. Eight to, oh, it's a, it's really eight to question mark. Okay. Those songs I put on there, I bet you I'm demonetized within the next twenty minutes. Okay, I might be demonetized now. With theory, um, where I think we decided we were going to start doing. Didn't we start doing that the other night on Friday? I don't remember. It's really just learning what they're for. Like, watch. What may help is if you're on my options cheat sheet. By the way, Irina, it's not that hard. It's just people don't realize that if you're long stock, you buy a put or sell a call. There's no other choices. If you're short stock, you buy a call or sell a put. There's no other choices. Okay? So little things like that. Okay. Okay. You know, it's funny. I do this video all the time. The, I do the pre-video, the four minutes, and literally most of my tech questions are about how to take the test. So it's like I'm kind of just a half-assed psychologist. Okay. 65, read the fucking book once, twice, three times. Read it at least once, maybe twice. Okay. Then start taking chapter quizzes. Okay. Then start taking finals, and then go beat the shit out of this test. That's the best way to do it. Okay. 100%. Okay. 
Okay. Right, maybe. I mean, it can't hurt. Do the videos. Yeah, don't spend the 50 bucks. If you only have one weekend, don't spend the 50 bucks. You better just do the videos. But remember, it's different. If you're okay with the T-shirts, then don't do mine. Mine has no T-shirts on it at all, but it's very visual. I mean, within within 20 minutes. Usually with my students, within about 40 minutes, and, and, and I'm all right. Okay. Um, I agree. Is that to go, Alicia? Get to the point where you can have a conversation. Okay. Best material for the 65? Cap and STC or Achievable, any one of them. <coughs> and no matter what you do, if you buy STC or Achievable, buy the Cap and Cubic. Boom. God, what is wrong? I'm really sick. Matt, I know you're going to nail it. I'm only 10 minutes behind here. Okay. I agree, Vanessa. If you get if you can get an 80 on Pass Perfect, that's like fucking gold. It really is. Boom, chastity. I love it. I'm telling you, right. If, if I have a guy who took the 66, and his highest score was a 65, and he, he said the test was so easy. <coughs> you ever cough so much you get like a head rush? Okay. I'm going to pass out one of these days. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Two sales always means unlimited. Two buy means you're always unlimited gain. Two sales is unlimited loss. Two buys is unlimited gain. It's not the only time, but those are definites. Okay. <clears throat> I'm telling you, they, they're very visual. Um, I think you actually expect to do a little bit better on the real exam. Okay. Let me get back to this. So now, so Andrea, yeah, I think if you're, if I'll try not to. It just I saw I saw I saw stars. I saw like my life passing before my eyes. Okay. Now what's the rule, guys? If I die in here, you gotta share the shit out of it. So I go viral. At least I go away and I go out with a bang. Uh, <clears throat> not a lot of bomb myth. Maybe accretion amortization. Maybe a current yield. Maybe a tax equivalent yield. That's it. Not a lot. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be enough to kill you. Okay, so um <laughs> um, I think if you if you can get yourself to the high 60s, 70s with Kaplan, you're in good shape. You know enough to pass. And whether you will pass or not, who knows, right? But the point is, is that you're getting um it's challenging you, right? They're a little more too they're a little too detailed for the exam. Okay. I don't worry about Vanessa. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not. I I don't plan on dying ever. And I say that ever because you're jinxing yourself. Well, it hasn't fucking happened yet. Ooh. Okay. Um. So yeah, I think they're not. The, here's the thing: the word, the scores are going to be worse than your STC uh, than your real exam because they go so. Sometimes their math questions are so goddamn convoluted. I can't even follow my plate. Oh, I got to write this shit down. We're on the real exam. I'm not saying it's easy at all. It's hard, but they're much more straightforward. They're much more straightforward. It is not this crazy shit. Okay. Um, some people use AD Banker, but not for long, right? Um, they're okay for the SIE and maybe for the license for the uh, insurance stuff. Maybe even sixty three, but I would not. If you're taking the seven, I would get a I would get a backup vendor. I really would. If you were getting um. If you're going to use them for the seven, I would get a supplemental. Get achievable, get cap on questions, get STC supplemental. I would do something because I don't think I don't think 80 banker is strong enough. I really don't. Okay. Not too shabby, people. Done in less than an hour. Usually, sometimes I, I was I run so goddamn late, I, you know, I can't even catch up till 9.30, 9.45. Okay. Vanessa, good night. Hopefully, I'll see you Friday. Okay, Friday night on the membership. Um. Yeah, I'm literally like it's supposed to be an hour, and up it goes at like to nine thirty because I usually don't have anyone once I meet. Like right now, I have a student at like nine forty, nine forty five. Okay, so um, so I can't stay on forever. But that nine thirty on Friday, nobody's meeting me at ten o'clock at night. So we stay on until basically all the shit's done, and we actually talk and stuff like that. Um, about other things involved in the options, but and then as Maria says, she gets annoyed because we talked about the Astros for a couple minutes. 
She made it clear. She was not a fan of baseball. Like, she, like I think the joke was, we're talking about the Astros and the Phillies, and she didn't know if they were what sports they were playing, which is fine. I mean, I mean, if you're not into it, you're not into it, right? I'm not a baseball guy. I'm a lacrosse and football guy, but I know the Phillies. And by the way, I don't know if the Phillies are still in it, but to be fair, every time they win a championship, we go into a recession, just so you know. Okay. Guys, not so bad. We're done. Um, I love this. Okay. Um, I think, again, my two favorite nights of the year are um, – my two favorite nights of the year are Tuesdays of the week or Tuesdays and Thursdays. I get to do this, hang out and talk to people all the time. I love to make jokes and hopefully make people laugh and make people feel better. Hopefully. That's the goal is to make you feel better. So you go in there. Boom. Okay. Hold on. Let's see, honey. There you go. Not a bad idea. Does it remember? By the way, if you buy for the last week, if you had guys remember something, if you ever buy a vendor the week before the exam, it's that, Danny, I appreciate it. Um, your scores are going to drop. Don't take, don't, don't be done. They'll get better. You're just getting used to new wording. And it's good to do that. I'm a big fan of multiple vendors because I, um, because then it keeps your mind agile enough to handle this. Also, guys, don't forget, I just did, um, I just last week, I did the, maybe two weeks ago, I did the options math video. Go check it out. 90 minutes of all the formulas and math you'll ever need for the test. Trust me, they're not that hard. Everyone, look, I love doing this. I will see you in 47 hours. Right, so it's really, yeah, 47 hours. I'll see you in 47 hours for the Thursday night edition. Make sure you're there. And Chastity, I'm sure you're gone already, but you, we, you have marching orders. Okay? Matt, you're taking it tomorrow. You're going to nail it. I think somebody else is taking it tomorrow. They're going to nail it. Okay. <clears throat> I'm fine. I'll get through it. Okay. Um, Katie? I mean, you study till you're ready. I mean, it shouldn't take more than two, three weeks. Shouldn't take more than two weeks. And the good thing is, the good thing about the life and health in that, you can take it, you miss it, you can take it the next day. You don't have to wait 30 days. I don't know if they put a limit on how many times you can take it, but those are not as hard as this. I'll put it that way. I mean, I, I have people that pass the, the life insurance stuff that we struggle to get past this. So I would give it two weeks max and then just hard studying for max for two weeks. Take it, take it, see how you do. And then if you miss, you go, you know, start over again. Okay. Boom, you got March, you got his chest. I'll see you in 47 hours with your report. Okay, everyone, everyone have a good night. I'm out of here. I'm going to go. Usually, I try to talk slow, but it's at 9.30, always somebody comes, hey, I got joined late or something like that. Um, Ivy, hopefully, you'll, you'll see you Friday night. Vanessa, I'll see you. There's going to be another Vanessa on there, too. I don't think it's the same one. Um, and we got this. Everyone, be good. Um, take this shit like a savage. Be a bad bitch when you're in there, and you're going to nail it, wash your hands, and may the force be with you. Adios.